What are you doing out here, son? It's 5 a.m. Can't sleep. Yeah, neither can we with all that noise you're making. One more shot. Uh, just one. Here, one more. Ah. Go on, try again. Ah. It's all right, go on, shoot till you get it in. And then, if I get good enough, I'm gonna play in the NBA. Oh, for fuck's sake, Zach, you're barely five foot eight, you haven't hit a shot in 20 years, you are the worst at basketball. Fucking right, oh. Stick to YouTube. What's going on guys, it's Zach Perney here, and today we are doing a day in the life, finally, of LeBron James. <laughs> this is this is one of the presents that Joel got me for my birthday. We have weird in jokes, one of them happens to be J.K. Simmons. Anyway, I just thought I'd use that. Um, <laughs> you know, we're doing a day in the life of LeBron James. Now this was highly requested. I am a basketball fan, but I'm also kind of not, like I don't watch a lot of it, but I love the sport anyway. So I thought this was interesting. The reason why I never did it in the past was because there's so much misinformation when I'm trying to look up these guys' diets, training, all this stuff. But luckily I found an absolute gem. The Tim Ferriss podcast had LeBron and his coach on there and they talked about literally his whole day. And why I loved it is because that day he said, okay, well this morning I had this and reeled it off and the coach is sitting there going, yeah, that's correct. So I was like, this is sick because I can actually follow this to a T and it's not some guy making up random shit. So uh, basically we're going to do LeBron James' diet, workout, everything today. We have an intense game of basketball coming up today. We have recovery methods. It's going to be insane. And we're going to start with the beginning of LeBron's day, which is 20 minutes of shake weight. Ah, 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 mm, mm, ah. No, it's not. It's actually breakfast. So meal one today is egg white omelette with smoked salmon, gluten-free pancakes with some berries on top. Now, it sounds pretty decent to me. A little bit boring with just the egg whites, but I, I do love salmon. And thankfully, I found this amazing gluten-free pancake mix. How good is that? No, but the reason why I'm guessing it's gluten free is because gluten is one of the most uh, like gut irritating like lectins. Like probably one, it's quite inflammatory for some people. So I personally don't eat a lot of gluten anyway. So I don't have a lot of uh, white bread or just I try not to because it just tends to irritate the gut a little bit. I mean, maybe he's a celiac. I don't know. Maybe he's allergic to gluten. So let's just pretend for one second that the pancake parlor, which is amazing, is gluten free. All right, all good. Now, obviously, LeBron James is about nine foot six and I am not quite that height yet, so his portion sizes are gonna be drastically bigger than mine, but I'm just gonna make it for my portion size and what I would eat, so it's a regular sized human being's meal. So, let's do it. Okay, so what? I went a little overboard on the pancakes. Uh, it didn't say how many. He's a big guy, what do you know? Imagine that, he just <laughs> smashes down this fat stack of pancakes in the morning. Um, to be honest, I just made way too much of the mix, and so I just thought it looked cool. So I'll have a taste of this first. Ooh. Heaven, amazing. So you'll see today, there is a lot of salmon in the diet, which is good, it's great. Salmon has amazing omegas in there, and omega-3s is what we need for anti-inflammatories, satiety, everything, it's just, it's great. Try to have salmon multiple times per week. I pretty much, I'm, me and LeBron are basically the same, in the sense that we have salmon every day. And that is probably the end of our similarities. Now, if you guys are in Melbourne and you haven't been to Pancake Parlor, do yourself a favor. It's so unhealthy, it's, it's like, it is so unhealthy, but it's just great. Open 24 hours too, you get some weird people in there. Like, it's gonna look like I didn't even make a dent on this thing, it's so big. I'm gonna have to call it. I'm tapping out here. I think I did a good job. But anyway, time to train on a full stomach and smash out a LeBron James workout. So 
So to train like LeBron, we're gonna start with 20 minutes of cardio. Then moving into the strength aspect, we're gonna do everything four sets of 12, starting with deadlifts. Then bent over rows. Followed by barbell curls. Finally, for some calisthenics work, wide grip push ups, 3 by 20 reps, chin ups, 3 by 15 reps, and then wide grip pull ups, 3 by 10 reps. Now to cool down, 15 to 30 minutes of yoga. And now it is time to play the game. So we have a very serious, important game ahead of us. Pre-game meal for that is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So quickly gonna smash that down and then we're gonna play. Okay, so tonight we're playing the Mud Bones. I haven't played them before, I'll be honest, but they look really good. What? Okay, so it was a very hard game. Those boys were very talented. Good on you boys, but we, I think we clearly won by a long way. That it, that's, the, that's probably why I'm the best. Post game, plant based protein. So we're going with some blessed. And now on the way to the cryotherapy chamber, which Joel and I have never been before. And I've, we've always wanted to go. I think it freezes your eyeballs. <laughs> As if they've never done it before. And we're just going in there going, hey, isn't this too cold? Minus 160 degrees Celsius. So we were we were right. It was within that yeah. range. I feel like it would just snap through your teeth. How would it not? I know. How would something that is a negative 160? How would that not do damage? I know you like cover up your extremities. So Joel's gonna put some tape over his pussy. I'm gonna put a bandaid over my. Pussy. <laughs> um, but I said this the other day, and I have a theory that surely if something is that cold, it can only be a little bit colder than the coldest thing you've ever experienced. Right, because work that riddle out. <laughs> because if you've got like when we went in the in the ice the other day, there is nothing. I don't know if my bodies have receptors to tell the difference between negative one hundred and sixty and zero. I mean, do they? Someone is going to be like, uh, an expert on I don't know <laughs> inverted dicks and in, in cold theories. Zima. <laughs> Are you actually bitching the cross? <laughs> you look sick. I thought I was lying there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in Yeah, it's actually pretty, it's pretty nice. I feel, it's hard to breathe in there a little bit. It does get a little bit sometimes. Yeah. Look at that shit door. 13.7 <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, mine 17? Mine was yeah. lower. Wow, you got two degrees lower. You can see in your skin too. Maybe because I put my hands up. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? <laughs> Good as. Yeah? Yeah. That's Ooh. crazy, isn't it? Yeah. 
I feel like my when I shut my eyes, it did the it like froze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. really? I kept mine open all the time. <laughs> Look at your your face. So you got all red in your chest too. Mm. Wow. That was um. That felt good as. I actually did. I felt nice. You feel good now. I feel like super warm. Yeah, I know. Same. Funniest thing was, I couldn't get out with the door and you couldn't operate the door to shut it. <laughs> she must think you're actual idiots. <laughs> two, two brothers can't use a door. <laughs> I was in there panicking going, oh fuck, it's not working, shit, shit, shit. She's like, um, just push, push it, push She's it. She's trying to sign like me and you were both like, what do you do? Because it's foggy in there. Like, yeah, it is. She was doing this and I'm going, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> I, know. I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having pasta for lunch with a bit of. Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! Did anybody see that? Now lunch for LeBron is salmon with some whole grain pasta and vegetables. So for the pasta, we're going to make my traditional homemade Italian sauce by putting some olive oil in a pan, adding some garlic, a couple of tins of tomatoes, a little bit of sugar, salt and pepper, and cooking that down for probably 20 minutes. Now that's gonna come in handy later with dinner, which you'll see. Now for the salmon, I have just been to the fish shop yesterday and bought sashimi grade salmon. Now, this is gonna look like a blend between Japanese and Italian fusion that you would never order. But still, both of them are great by themselves. So um, I think this is gonna be a good meal anyway. And guess who's back? The bacon. That's you. Pretty fucking bacon. <laughs> This is the, I don't know why I'm holding it, it's so gross. Yeah. <laughs> Le Le LeBron has a <laughs> Just, oh. It's sliced up salmon sashimi, so I'm just gonna have that on the side. Probably 200 grams, so I reckon it's a decent size. I mean, why wouldn't you do this if you can? I'm sure, I'm sure LeBron does this. Bang, look at that salmon. Heaven. And then, sauce is done, so we're gonna use some of this for later. We're gonna save it and we're gonna have some now. Plus it goes in. Mix it about. Make sure all the sauce gets into the pasta. So we have the pasta, which needs parmesan, of course. As does the fish. <laughs> Just ruins it completely, no. Parmesan on there, very generous with it and then some soy for the fish. You guys must be thinking, what the hell? But really, like that's that's a good result. Imagine if you actually ate this. Like imagine if I guess right, and he goes, oh no, I just have sashimi and pasta on the side. Doubt it, but hopeful. Heaven, pure heaven. If you can get sashimi grade fish, it's just, it's the best. This was from, the fish shop, literally. <laughs> That's what it's called, there's a name of the shop. If you're in Melbourne, check them out because they have this salmon and it's sashimi grade and it's amazing. Let's try the Italian. I don't like whole grain pasta, what the hell? I don't think I've really ever had that. No, I don't like it. I don't like them. You know what, I am extremely late for my myotherapy appointment. It's part of the recovery process. Myotherapy, massage with a bit of dry needling. It's not very comfortable, but it does help. And uh, and he is a fan of massages, so that is after this. And I left it to the last second. And done, okay. Time to get massaged. So time for the myotherapist. We are getting a an uncomfortable massage today, but it is all part of the recovery protocol. Luckily, this is also part of my routine, and luckily I was also booked in this week. Perfect. Do you like my outfit? <laughs> So dinner time now. According to LeBron, he had a chicken palm with a rocket salad and a nice glass of wine. Apparently the dude loves his wine. Um, luckily for me, I hate it with a passion. I, ha I actually hate wine, fun fact. Can't stand beer. And I, I do just like mixed drinks, I would say. I can't believe I'm just talking about this now, but um, I, I think it's because I never gave myself a chance to actually like get used to it. Like I'm like, beer, wine, tastes like piss, sweet. I don't want it anymore. And that logic was good enough for my whole life. Um, and now I don't like it, so we'll see how we go with that. Um, but this is the sauce that we made earlier, that, that nice tomato sauce. So we're gonna put that on the chicken, and we're gonna crumb the chicken in probably a panko, because that's nice. Bash it out. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. 
Now if you want, you can dip it in egg and then put the crumbs on. Or if you're lazy like me, just crumb straight on there. It works a lot better when you put egg with it though, but I'm extremely lazy and hungry because I barely finished that pasta earlier. And then straight into the air fryer or oven. I'm gonna say around 10 to 12 minutes, probably 12 minutes. And then we'll put the toppings on and then load it back in there again. Oh, rocket salad. Every time I have rocket, I like parmesan and pear with it and some kind of balsamic glaze. So it follows that I actually do that. Balsamic glaze, it's just sweet balsamic. A pear that's been shaved, <laughs> a bald pear. Imagine if your chef did that. If you saw your chef just peeling and going. Actually. If you're a chef and you're watching this, have, do you know someone that's done that? Or have you done that? Like you're just eating it as you're doing it? I feel like I would have to if I was, a, if I was making food. I can't make food and not eat some of it. Like I have to have some. Your parmesan. Chicken is done. Heaps of sauce. Because this sauce is heaven. A little bit of thin ham. Popping back in. Okay, also, this is extremely sad, but I only had low fat cheese in the house and it just does not melt, like at, at all. Cheese that doesn't melt. Great! Serve it up with my wine. Sick. Not too bad at all, except for this. Mmm. Piss. Mmm. Salad's actually good. See, I swear these calories are like, surprisingly low. The guy's huge. I mean, obviously the pancakes were overinflated for this video, but he's massive. And the diet is relatively low. But some teammates said that he did eat a lot of shit. Like he eats cookies and stuff. So maybe he was saying it on the podcast because his training was there. And he's not gonna say like, oh yeah, I pay you like, 200 grand a year and I eat cookies. So I get it, <laughs> I do get it, but still it seemed very low. Chicken needs a bit of salt, cheeky bugger. Also, what do you guys reckon? Did I really just polish up a whole glass of wine? Comment below. If not, what was the tactic? I, I, I mean, I did, but if I didn't, what would I have done? Okay, if that was dinner, I've had it. And time for bed. So apparently LeBron is a huge advocate for the Calm app. Um, he is actually on it, uh, and apparently he listens to rain on the leaves before going to sleep. I reckon, I wonder if he listens to himself. <laughs> Do you guys reckon he listens to himself? Imagine how weird that would be. Like, good night, Zach. Good night, Zach. You having a good sleep? I haven't got to sleep yet. Okay. Try get to sleep. Yeah, well, how the fuck do you suppose that, numb nuts? What do you think I'm using you for? That's probably how that would go. But anyway, we're going to finish with some nice... Calm app to get to sleep. So if you did like this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment something great. You can even comment that if you like, because it would be much appreciated. But um, now into this. Ooh, Rain in the Leaves narrated by Bear Grylls. Sure. So paying attention to the rain and the leaves, as you just relax. You know, there's a story of a family in Siberia that actually were eaten alive by mosquitoes whilst they lay down listening to the same sounds you're hearing right now. In fact, you might just be lying down now and if you get bitten by one of these mosquitoes, you'll immediately feel discomfort, nausea, diarrhea, abdominal pain, swelling of the brain and ultimately a painful death. That is just stressful! It seems like a bit of a price to pay for just a bit of rain on the leaves.